Welcome to our tutorial on subsetting fonts for performance in a Next.js project. We begin by importing the use effect hook from React. This hook will be used to perform side effects in our function component. Next, we import the font face observer library. This is a lightweight and powerful library that allows us to monitor the loading of fonts. We'll be using this to know when our font is loaded and to apply it to our page. Here we declare our custom React hook called use subset font. This hook will accept two parameters, font name, which is a string representing the name of the font we want to load, and font path, which is the path to the font file we want to use. Inside our hook, we use the use effect function which will enable us to encapsulate our font loading logic within a component lifecycle. We instantiate a new font face observer object, passing in the font name. This instance will be used to watch for when the font becomes available. We then call the load method on our font face observer instance. This method returns a promise that resolves when the font is loaded and available for use. Once the font has successfully loaded, we add a class named fonts loaded to the root HTML element of the document. This can be used to apply styles conditionally only when the fonts have been loaded, ensuring a smooth appearance on the page. We also provide a catch block for the promise to handle any errors that might occur during the font loading process. If the font fails to load, an error message will be logged to the console. Next, we create a new link element. This element will be used to attach our font stylesheet to the head of the document. We set the href attribute of our link element to the font path parameter. This is the URL of the stylesheet for our subset font. We then specify that the relationship between the current document and the linked document is that of a stylesheet by setting the relation attribute to stylesheet. We set the type attribute on the link element to text, CSS, indicating the stylesheet is a CSS file. Finally, we append the link element to the head of the document, triggering the loading of the font stylesheet. Our use effect hook depends on the font name and font path variables. By including them in the dependency array, we ensure that the effect is rerun only when these variables change, thereby preventing unnecessary operations on re-renders. And that's it. We close our hook and export it with the export default statement, making it available for use in our next JS components. This custom hook will help improve the performance of our next JS project by asynchronously loading only the needed font glyphs. Thanks for watching, and make sure to implement this method to speed up your website load times.